Hello guys, what is up, and welcome back to another one of these talking videos. I think that's just going to become my intro, just saying that over and over again. Anyway, before we get into the video, I do want to quickly address uh, the puzzle has been solved. The puzzle from the previous two videos has been solved. It was solved by Memegar, and his channel is going to appear on screen right now, and his channel will also be linked in the description, so please go check him out. Um, one thing I do want to say is... Uh, Wait, there was something I wanted to say. What did I want to say? I wanted to say something. I don't even know what it was now. I'm confused. I'll probably remember it after recording this while I'm editing. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the topic here. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. I just now remembered. This is wonderful. <laughs> anyway, um, for Memegar's prize, he asked for a shout-out and just a shout-out. So that's what he's uh, getting here. He just wanted the shout-out. So, uh Congratulations, Beam Garden, solving the puzzle. Anyway, into the topic that you saw in the thumbnail. Today I'm going to be discussing aim trainers and whether or not I think that they're truly beneficial to your actual gameplay, specifically with Fortnite. So some of the pros and cons with aim trainers is, uh, I guess I'll start with pros. Pros is the fact that you can spend all of your time practicing your aim. When you're playing battle royales like Fortnite and PUBG, you're not get, always getting the chance. You're spending a majority of your time looting or farming materials or whatever. So you don't really get that chance, per se, to you know sit there and practice your aim. And if you're not already an ex experienced in first-person shooter games, aim trainers can be helpful to get you better at what you're doing. Some cons are the fact that it's just they're never realistic. They can't emulate the feel of the game. And that's why there are pros that say aim trainers are great, and there are pros that say aim trainers are a waste of your time. You just need to practice the game, play in the game. So those are the pros, sort of the pros and cons. It's really all based on feel. Um, I want to mention some aim trainer games before I get into my opinion about them. The three that come to mind almost instantly uh, are Osu, which is 2D. It's like clicking circles, 2D circles. So it's not 3D. You're not actually aiming in a 3D space. It's just like like on your desktop, how that's 2D. Osu is the same way. But Osu is stupidly hard. It requires you to move your mouse at ridiculous speeds. So it can still be considered a name trainer. There's also Kovacs FPS aim trainer. That's uh, You can get that on Steam for $10. Um, I'm not going to link in the description. I'm not a sellout. Uh, anyway, you can get that on Steam for $10. It's spelled K-O-V-A-A-K-S, FPS, Aim Trainer. The reason that's come into the light recently, I think, is really just because T it was discovered, Tifu basically started playing it on stream uh, just to show off how good his, and fast his aim was. And um, that's what he's been doing for a while now. Another one is a popular flash game similar to Osu called Aim Booster, but instead of being a rhythm-based game, Aim Booster, you just click as fast as you can. Uh, and finally, the last one I can think about would be like in the Fortnite creative mode, actual aim trainers, where it just like slides you along on a conveyor belt and creative, and then you get to shoot like those white boxes. And then that's the sort of aim trainer. Now, my opinion on aim trainers is actually a little complicated. I think that there is, I, I think that they are helpful for a very specific group of people. And that is people who are new to mouse and keyboard. If you are new on your mouse and your keyboard, then aim trainers, yes, you they're a must. You should play a few aim trainers, and you should spend like 15 minutes a day before you go play your game just so that you can get your aim better. And then as soon as you hit a certain point, and I think that you just need to feel it like as a player. Uh, I, I sort of hit that point recently, and my Fortnite gameplay has been getting a lot better because I've been spending less time in aim trainers and more time playing Fortnite. So, I think that there's a certain point when you need to stop playing aim trainers and you need to really knuckle down and focus on the game you want to play. And that's probably th after you have a pretty good grasp of the game's mechanics and you're noticing that you're doing all right, but you're not doing amazing. Um, so, that's, that's sort of what I think aim trainers are for. They're for people who are new to like using keyboard and mouse or something like that. That's really my opinion. Um, in conclusion, basically what I just said, that's essentially my conclusion, I guess. Um, you can use, aim trainers are great tools, but you shouldn't use them forever. That's my main point. Um, 
So I want to go ahead and remind you guys that this video here is going to have a brand new puzzle since the previous one was solved. Uh, this one, again, as always, you'll get your hint in the top right of the video sometime during the runtime. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into the solution to the previous puzzle for you guys. All right, guys, so we're going to quickly go over the solution to the previous puzzle from the previous video. Now, this is the previous video that I had. And basically what you have to do um, to get the solution to this puzzle is if you look in the top right corner of the screen, just like all of these are, you'll see, just look like right here, you'll see a word flash up. See, right there it says thumbnail. You can barely see it. And I mean, like you can see it a little better at like 108, like 108-ish, something like that. I don't know. Like there, you can see it pretty well. But yeah, that's your hint. I probably should have made that smaller and more difficult to see. But anyway, it says thumbnail. So that could mean a bunch of different things. Uh, so let's say you wanted to like look at the thumbnail or whatever. Oh, well, this is the thumbnail and there's nothing remarkable about it. But if you were really observant, you'd see this weird little white line. I can't really gesture to it because YouTube will cover it up. But it's like this little white line right here-ish like right when I it's right under where my mouse is right now see that you can also see it in this other one over here so what you had to do to solve this puzzle was you had to download the thumbnail so you could get the full 1280 by 720 size so I actually don't know how to do it off the top of my head so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up how to download YouTube thumbnail so then I think this is a good one yeah and then yeah here's the link so here is the uh, link that you can use to download YouTube thumbnails that's not what I wanted I wanted this right here come on work with me all right whatever I'm just gonna click on it to get it all right so now it's here but obviously I still have to fill in the video ID to get this essentially this is just a I'm just following a YouTube tutorial on how to download a thumbnail so I just grabbed the video ID off of here and then copy and paste it into there and then BAM I can see my, the thumbnail in the full 1280 by 720 view and then if you go over here you can see an Imgur link and if you were to say follow that Imgur link let me pull up this over here and I want to get that up so if you go to this Imgur link imgur.com slash uk y i t j z that takes you here and there you go you just completed the puzzle so that is how you completed the puzzle from the previous video and there is a new puzzle in this video don't forget there's a new one in this video so good luck with that guys anyway peace out